Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name is Billy and this is Williams Imaging. I will be your guide and your host through all things photography and design. Yes, I just dabbed. Don't, don't, don't really. Please, please don't hate me for that. Um, today's video is going to be an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. It's going to be nice, quick, simple and easy. Uh, this tutorial, this, this feature in Adobe Illustrator is just, it's so basic. Uh, I think all beginners need to know how to do this just in case um, something happens and then this feature gets knocked off. Or if you just need a refresher, um, this is what I'm here for. So let's jump right in. Without further ado, uh, I hope you guys get some use out of this. Let's go. So as you can see by the title of this video, this video is going to be how to enable and disable Scooby Zoom on Adobe Illustrator. At the moment, I have the zoom set to marquee zoom. And what this does is it drags a marquee box over any of your AI files or whatever you've got selected at the moment. It draws a marquee and then when you let go, it zooms right in. To then zoom back out, you'll then have to press the Alt tab, uh, Alt tab, Alt key on your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, it will be command, it will be Control, Control. No, it won't. No, just it's Alt. It's the same button. It's Alt. What am I talking about? I'm trying to do it's too complicated. I'm on a Mac right now. If you're on a Mac, for sound, uh, you have to click and hold Alt on key. Uh, oh my God, I can't do it. You have to click the, the Alt key on your Mac and then click to zoom out on your image. Uh, now, if you're working on multiple uh, artboards or multiple, multiple files on Adobe Illustrator, uh, having it set to marquee can be quite infuriating sometimes, you know, like you, you forget that you've got it on and then you try to go to zoom in properly, I say properly, you try to go and zoom in like you would do on a scrubby zoom and it zooms way too far into the image uh, and then you just get messed up, you don't really know what you're doing. So all I'm going to do to enable scrubby zoom is go to the view tab at the top and where it says GPU preview, click that. It's as simple as that. You now have Scrubby Zoom enabled. And now what Scrubby Zoom is, is if I click and, if I click and hold the left click on my Mac or my, uh, on my trackpad or my mouse and then move, to, move my finger to the right, it zooms in. And if I click and drag and hold and zoom to the left, it zooms out. Zoom to the left, that makes sense. If I click and hold and go to the left with my finger, it will zoom out. And I personally believe this way of zooming in is just so much more efficient and it just helps you out so much more on Adobe Illustrator than the marquee zoom tool in. Um, so yeah, that's just this tutorial guys. I really hope some beginners can actually learn, learn something from this and then apply it to the wonderful illustrations and everything else that you do on Adobe Illustrator. Uh, like I said, it's just a quick, easy tutorial. It's nothing complicated, it's nothing complex. Uh, I'm going to try and throw out more complex tutorials out in the future, but I really wish when I started out using um, the Adobe package, there was tutorials like this to, to sort of get me through it and to help me guide it. And obviously there are some out there, but there's just, there's just some of them that just aren't helpful. And I'm hoping that I can be as helpful as I possibly can and try and grow from that. So uh, that is all for this week's video. Uh, I hope you all had a good time. I hope you all learned something and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.